Hey folks, it's Tristan, and I am up and running with the Cord Hugo TT2 and the Cord M Scaler, or Cord Hugo M Scaler. And just got them in today and got them set up, and I thought I would do just an up and running video just to show you. I'm going to be reviewing these in my channel in a few weeks to a month or so. And uh, But I just wanted to do an overview video and just sort of talk about how excited I am to get these. I actually unboxed these with white gloves on. That's how OCD I am. <laughs> um, I don't want to fingerprint my uh, nice, nice anodized black aluminum, you know, uh, cord products. And uh, it was just a fun experience. I mean, it was just kind of like a kid on a Christmas morning or something again. Make, made me feel that way. Uh, it was just really a lot of fun. I've been anticipating getting these in for a few months now, and it was just so much fun to unbox them and just get them set up. It was. I was trying to be, you know, very methodical about it and not get too excited. I don't want to tear apart, you know, everything and, you know, try to keep everything nice and orderly and um, pristine and, and, and set it up correctly and all that. Um, but after about half an hour or so, I was up and running and everything's working great and it sounds excellent so far. I'm not going to review these right now, but I do want to go through some of the different buttons here and the different things that you see because that was one of the things I was searching on YouTube for before purchasing these and I didn't find that. And I thought that might be kind of instructive um, for people searching and just this is just sort of an overview video. So for those that don't know, the device on the bottom is the uh, Chord M Scaler. And what that does is it reforms your music. It can reform CD tracks like um, you know, 1644 tracks all the way up to as if it was a 705 track. So it's almost just as if you, you know, purchased or downloaded or whatever, a super high res 705 track, even though it's just a CD track. And then you're giving that file to your DAC. That's basically what the M Scaler does. It just sort of reformats or reforms your digital audio to a much higher bit rate for you. And then the unit on the top here is the uh, Hugo TT2 and it's a uh, you know headphone amplifier preamp and DAC and the TT2 is a great DAC just by itself it has double the taps of the Hugo 2 and something like five times the taps of the original Hugo TT in terms of the digital taps um, you know that's part of the digital designer Rob Watts's um, you know FPGA um, you know system and I'll talk a lot more about that in my review but so anyway let's go through some of the functions here first of all let's start with the Hugo TT2 um, right here front and center is the volume knob here and as you can see you get a sort of a level there and um, I really like that it's front and center and it's a much bigger volume knob there than it used to be on the Hugo TT you know, the volume is what you interact with most. So it's awesome that it's just right in front and center there for you to control. And then on the right here, you've got your headphone output. So you've got two quarter inch headphone outputs and then one 3.5 millimeter headphone output. This right here is the standby button. So you press that to turn it on and off. Actually, it's a standby mode. So, I mean, it, the, most of the circuitry kind of stays sort of active when it's plugged in. But when you go in standby mode, it's turning off the super capacitors and the amplifier and everything inside. And then this is how you control certain things. So you'll cycle through here. This is the menu button and you'll cycle through the different menus here. And then this is the set button. So what you'll do is you'll find what you want to set and then you'll press this. So I just made it, the dim is the brightness. So I just made that brighter and then you don't have to do anything else. You just stop and it'll save that setting. So once you press set and then, you know, you set it like you like it. Now it's on brightness. Now it's on bright. So you can cycle through the different settings. Like here's the cross feed. This is the filter, so you have different filter settings, just like on the Hugo uh, 2. You know, the incisive, like which is the white one, and then you have like the green one and all that. Um, that's the dim feature, which I just showed you. This is um, high gain or low gain. So right now we are on high gain. Let's switch it to low gain. So you switch it to low gain and it says wait, and it has to sort of reform the uh, digital amplifier inside so that, um, you know, you have a little bit of a wait there when you're switching because it kind of tests everything internally and all that inside. There we go. And then you can kind of cycle through the stuff again. Low gain. Um, now we're on, we're on amp mode right now, which means we're connected, we're kind of like in preamp mode because I'm connected to powered speakers. And this is your input mode. So you've got right now the dual BNCs coming from the uh, M scaler on the bottom. 
and then you're back to the cross feed. So that's basically what that does. Now on the bottom is the M scaler and this button right here is a video button. And so what that does is when you're playing video, like let's say you're playing a DVD or a Blu-ray, it avoids lip sync issues. So you can actually turn it into a video mode to avoid lip sync issues, um, but you're not getting the full 1 million taps that this thing can actually output with that mode on. But in music mode, you are getting the full 1 million taps. So right now it's in automatic mode and yellow means that it's detecting that it's in music mode or there's a music signal. So you have the full 1 million taps. But if you turn that off, um, you're just forcing it into music mode. If you turn that on, that's the on indicator, you're forcing it into video mode. And then the third mode is automatic, which means that it will automatically detect if there's a dialogue track or you're listening to dialogue, and it'll automatically switch to the dialogue mode with to avoid lip sync issues. Or if it automatically detects music, it'll switch into music mode. So yellow means music. If this turns blue, that means dialogue. So I like to leave that on automatic mode um, just because it'll automatically change that for me. This right here is the input. So you, right now I'm on USB input and I don't want to change that because I don't want to lose my USB sync, but the M scaler has, you know, optical in, uh, you know, BNC in, as well as like USB in. So right now it's on USB. And then this right here is what uh, tells the M scaler like how high of an output you want to, you know, put out, output out to your DAC. So right now it's on the highest mode, but if I cycle through this, you can see um, the change here this is the sample rate color right now it's this it's like a p it's like a pass through so right now it's on cd quality so you can kind of like do an a b comparison between you know like pass through cd you can see it says 44 one there so so the tt2 is getting a 44 one signal now if i press that up one higher and now it's doubling that to 88.2 and then right now it's even higher at 176 and then this is the highest mode, the direct dual BNC mode, which is the highest mode. So that kind of enables you to cycle through different sampling frequencies and you can kind of compare that way too. Um, so that's kind of nice. These buttons here on the right of the M scaler currently don't really do much of anything. They're actually for future products to integrate the M scaler with future chord products like uh, digital DAC, I mean digital amps that are coming out and things like that. So basically these you don't worry about. Um, the other thing is both of these have uh, remote controls as well, but you can do everything from the front panel here. You know, both the M scaler as well as the Core Hugo TT2 have remote controls, but I actually haven't even unboxed those yet um, because I just don't need them at this point. Everything's within arm's reach, uh, you know, how I like it. That's kind of how I like to set up stuff. I like to set up my stuff um, pretty ergonomically so I can reach everything, you know. Um, that I need to without using the remote. But yeah, if I need to break out the remote, I can certainly do that. So yeah, that's just kind of my overview here. Um, I just wanted to show you like the front panel and you know the different stuff that you can do. On the M scaler, you can also make the LEDs dimmer or brighter by double pressing these. So right there, it got brighter. Maybe a little hard to see in the video. And then it got dimmer there. So I kind of like to match them. I don't know if I'm on dim or bright here. Let's see, so I'm on, I think I'm on bright there, yeah dim once, so I made them dimmer. So now they kind of match in terms of the brightness between you know the, the LEDs on the two different devices. Let's see, yep. And it remembers your setting as well. So like right now I'm in amp mode. It'll remember my gain setting, it'll remember my volume and all that. When I plug in headphones that are automatically going to headphone mode, it'll remember the volume that I had set on the headphone mode as well, which is really nice. So you're plugging in headphones, you're not getting totally blasted and you don't have to fool around with the volume. It just remembers that. So yeah, I'm really excited and um, yeah, so far this just sounds excellent and I just wanted to do this overview video and uh, just let my subscribers know that uh, I'm up and running with this. And stay tuned for my uh, review video coming up in a few weeks or maybe several weeks uh, for both of these. Questions, comments, or feedback, please feel free to leave them. Again, this has been my look of the brand new Cord Hugo TT2 and the Cord Hugo M Scaler. I'm up and running with these and I have to say I'm pretty ecstatic about it and I've definitely got my weekend cut out for me here. I'm uh, recording this on a Friday night and uh, I'm basically like holding all calls, ordering pizza and not leaving the house uh, all weekend. All right, see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.